artist? My name's Heather. I'm so glad you're here. I'm with Duncan House Creative, and today we're going to be talking about this wonderful oil pastel landscape. This landscape was inspired by an artist named Ted Harrison. A landscape is any time we have a painting or a piece of work that shows a large body of land, like you see here. There's our sun, our sunset, and our sky, and then, and then the ground and the hills and stuff in in the foreground. So this is a bit of an abstract landscape, right? It doesn't look like a photograph, does it? But you can tell by looking at it that we have a sun and we have the sky and some clouds and maybe some mountains down here. That is what Ted Harrison did with all of his artwork. You can look at his artwork and think, hmm, I know that that is a lake, or that is that, those are mountains, or that's a valley. But he used really bold colors to illustrate what he saw. He was from Canada. He was actually born in England. And his mom, as a young boy, could tell that he definitely was an artist. Um, his teachers encouraged him to do art and explore art. He grew up and he actually went to art school and became a professional artist. You can look up his work on the internet if you'd like. He has beautiful, beautiful works of art. Um, and today we're going to do this landscape inspired by his work. Okay, let's go over our supplies before we jump in. Okay, our supplies today are very simple. We're just going to use a black sheet of construction paper and this wonderful palette of oil pastels. I'm going to pull these oil pastels out here. Let me walk through the steps of our project today. What we're going to do is we're going to draw out our landscape using our white oil pastel first. And then we are going to start at the top and just work our way down, um, filling in the color of what we see. It is important when we're working with oil pastels that we start at the top of our paper and kind of work down because when we're coloring, our hand wipes the bottom half of our paper, right, as we're drawing. So we want to make sure we're working from the top down so that when I'm coloring in my, my uh, artwork, I'm not smearing all of the pretty work that I've done before. So. Um, that's impor an important technique when we're doing this. Okay, let's jump in and get started. Okay, I'm going to take out my white um, oil pastel. And you can either do your paper vertically, which is up and down long ways like this, or you can do it horizontally. You get to choose. The big thing about Ted Harrison's work is he always had a sun, typically, in his, in his paintings. Um, and he was actually inspired by the Yukon, which is in Canada. Um, mountains and usually lakes and rivers were in his work. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, thinking here, sorry, I'm going to just draw a sun in the lower kind of half of my paper like that. Because I think I want my sun to be a sunset. So I might come here and draw a line under my sun so I know that this is a sunset. That means the sun is setting on this hill here that I have. Now, a lot of Ted Harrison's work, he comes out around the sun and he has some different elements of color. So I'm going to draw some like this and I think that I think that's about it I, I might put one more little cloud right here I like to call them clouds but maybe even make this one reach over there so here's this one so we have our Sun we have some things in our sky it's really it would be a really good idea for you to just quickly look up some of his images too now I'm gonna draw some hills and mountains in the bottom half. So I'm going to come up here, do this, 
kind of illustrate a hill and then I might come up here and do oh man do another one if that happens that's okay I'll just use that and then maybe one right here ta-da we're done awesome now we have our outline together put that back there use be be careful with your oil pastels okay all right we're gonna start like I said with the top of our paper and actually I might even put a line here and Ted Harrison was notorious for adding colors to his sky like purple and things that you wouldn't think maybe even orange it wasn't he didn't add your typical notice I'm going in one direction here I actually might turn this if you don't mind um he didn't always use your typical colors he might even draw a lake the water of a lake orange okay so really think allow yourself to think out of the box when adding the color to your paper so here I have that and now I think I'm gonna do a light blue for my clouds and I'm not notice how I'm trying not to cover that white lineup I'm trying to only stay within that white line okay and I'll show you right here I kind of rubbed over it so I'm gonna come on top of it like this awesome okay now I'm gonna come over here and I'm just gonna work my way down I'm gonna put another blue cloud here and I think my sky I'm just going to use some different colors of blue purple and when you're working with oil pastel you do have to push pretty hard um, you don't have to push too hard but just pretty hard and then I'm gonna go over this again there we go awesome now for the rest of my sky here, I'm going to choose a different blue. Oh. Don't push too hard. I guess there's a fine line. this other blue here this is another kind of cloud Ted Harrison definitely had a, a style to his artwork um, once you see it you will be able to recognize his artwork you were to just see it in a museum because it is very recognizable I'm gonna use this other color of blue here since that one broke on me okay then I'm gonna come over and do the Sun fill in this little last area I always like to trace around kind of the lines even whenever I'm coloring in like a coloring book, I always kind of trace around where I'm drawing. That doesn't mean you have to. That's just my, that's just my method. Okay. Got that done. Perfect. All right, now we'll work on the sun, okay? I don't want my sun to look like a boiled, or a scrambled egg here, or a fried egg, so. 
<laughs> I'm going to use two different types of yellow or orange, excuse me. This is kind of a yellow orange. What color is this? Yellow orange. I was right. There we go. And then I might use this color. Now, when I'm done here, I'll show you my first Ted Harrison drawing compared to this one. And we can kind of compare and contrast the two. And you can see how different they look, okay? I'm going to turn my paper. You always try to color in the same direction when you're working with oil pastels because people can definitely see your coloring lines. Perfect. Okay, there's our sun. Looks so good. All right, now I'm gonna start on this bottom. This is the land. So here's my sky and my sun. And now I'm going to start on I'm going to use green. Now, Ted Harrison would use any color. He might use pink for the land or um, blue. He did a lot of mountains in blue. So don't feel like just because we're drawing the sky and the land in our landscape that you have to stick to these, to these colors. You can really explore your different options. All right, cool. All right, now I have to pick another color for this middle part. And actually, you know, instead of, hmm, actually I'm gonna go with this darker green and then I'm gonna pull in some brown. Cause I don't want it to just be green, green, green. To be a little, some different color too. Okay, I'm gonna use brown now. And I'm a pretty fast colorer. Um, if you feel like you're not moving as fast as I am, you can always pause this and then finish it and then push play when you're caught up, okay? I'm, a pretty, I'm pretty fast when it comes to this. I've just had a lot of practice. So you don't have to judge your speed to my speed, okay? brown here and then I think I'm gonna go with my bottom layer this light green again okay there's my light green to kind of stabilize my paper with that other hand so that's why I keep that hand there just keeps my paper from moving around awesome 
Okay, I'm going to take my white pastel and I'm just going to go over my white lines just barely to kind of pop them out. Um, this will help. Kind of blend them. Cool! Oh my goodness, it looks so good. I bet Ted Harrison would be proud of us. I know he would. Okay, artists, we are done with our Ted Harrison oil pastel landscape. I'm gonna show you my other one that I made too, just so you can see a difference. All right, so here's two that I made. Um, how are they different and how are they the same? Well, my sun is definitely different, isn't it? I still have the purple on top and I have some clouds that are shaped the same. I have two hills there at the bottom. I kind of used the same color palette, didn't I, on the bottom? Some different color blues on the top. Yeah. So, as you can see, every time we do a piece of art, it doesn't have to look exactly the same as the last time we did it. We have the freedom to play around with what we like. Maybe today I'm feeling like this sun, and the other day I was feeling like the other one. That's totally okay. Your work doesn't have to look like your neighbor's work or my work. Your work should look like your own individual work, okay? Now, I think we're done. Today... We used oil pastel as our medium on black construction paper and we did a landscape, abstract landscape, based on the work of the artist Ted Harrison. Thank you for joining me artists. I'll see you back here next time.